What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spiel, dog. Yo, man, Frank Martin got the opportunity of a lifetime uh, coming up soon with uh, with the fight with Tank. Not exactly, I can't remember exactly what month it's in, but I, it'll be the, uh, within the next few months. I think I think I, I like Tank to win a fight, but I'm glad Frank get the opportunity, and I think Frank will be a formidable a formidable opponent. You know, uh, Frank ain't nobody that you're just gonna be able to overlook. He's a strong a strong fighter. He's he's a good boxer, and he's and 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 he's got that hunger. He's you know he, he real hungry still. Uh, Frank is a is a grown man. You know he, you know he, growing into his body, he, he there, he, he a full grown man, uh, and it's, and he will make, he will give Tank some challenges in the ring. Uh, the fact that they've sparred against each other that will help Frank some in this fight, because I think Frank is the one with the uh with the uh with a Tank is more experienced than Frank, so uh Frank will have to. Try to outwork Tank if he won't have any uh if he want any chance in winning this fight. The thing about it though with Tank though, see, people always talk about Tank power, but you know it ain't really just that. Tank can box. Tank is just as good a, a boxer as he is a puncher. To me, that's what makes Tank more dangerous than any of these dudes from 140 on down. Uh, most of the guys either got a lot, either power punches or great boxers. He's the only one that's the complete package as far as uh, a boxing ability, power, ring generalship, and experience. Tank got it. He, he check every box. Only thing, on, the only advantage, the only advantage fighters ever have to my, to me against Tank is size and reach. Outside of that. Tank is just as fast as any of them. I think he got the best feet in that division as far as footwork and uh, the way he move move around the ring. I think he got just. I think his ring generalship and IQ is is higher echelon. You know, so it's way more than power that Frank got to worry about. And see, this is why I don't see how he how he win this fight really. Uh, I think Frank will do good in the fight at, in spots. But see, Tank's boxing ability and his defense, all that shit is completely underrated because of the knockouts. A lot of it is overlooked because of the knockouts. You know, and uh, you know, you can't put Tank in a in a box and say, oh man, you know, he just a big puncher. No, Tank can box. Tank can box. I mean, he 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 the, he the, he the real deal. You know, uh it's going to take a damn good fighter to go in there or Tank to get completely off focus for the for any of these guys in them smaller divisions to go in there and beat him, you know. And he's tough. You know, he can take a punch, too. He take punches well. Riley cracked him and Ryan cracked him good. Uh, I've seen, uh, matter of fact, Pitbull, I've seen Tank hit with a lot of big shots already in his career. And, and every time he took him well, you know, so he – Tank has a handful. He really is. Uh, and I know Frank know it. You know, Frank know he got his, you know, he got his work cut out for him. But what I like about him, he, he got the courage and the, and the heart to go in there and, and take the challenge. You know, uh, a lot of guys in Frank's position, they be so busy worried about getting the right fight that they missed a big fight a lot of times. You know, uh, sometimes the, the right fight is the fight that's there right now. And I like Frank taking this fight. I like Earl letting him take the fight. You know, and that's another thing. Uh, Earl Earl gonna do do fine as a promoter because I think that's the biggest issue I got with a lot of these promoters now. They sign people to their promotional company that they truly don't believe in. You know, uh, you know, sometimes you got you know, you know, you can't be so concerned about your money that you uh that you uh neglect what the fighter himself wants. Sometimes, like, I, although Earl got beat up bad by uh, Terrence Crawford, I still like the fact that Al Heyman had enough faith in his fighter or enough respect for his fighter to give him the fight that he wanted, regardless of how, how, what they may have thought or, or how it turned out. 
sometimes you got to do, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, everybody not going to beat Floyd Mayweather and Andre Ward. You're not going to get a whole lot of them coming through, to, coming through there like that. So, you know, uh, one loss is not a big deal to me when you lose to a high-level fighter. I, I just don't see it like a lot of these people see it. And I think if Frank Martin lose to Tank, that's not going to hurt his career, no. it's, it's still going to help it. One, he had that big fight, and he had that money to help his family out. And two, he had that much more confidence when he fight another big name because he'd have been in there with the best and uh and seen what it looked like and felt like to be in there with, with, with one of the top dogs of the division. Uh, I don't see I – th I think it helped Frank all the way around win, lose, or draw. Win, lose, or draw, I think it's helped Frank's career all the way around and his development as a fighter in general, as long as he don't get hurt bad in there. And I, and I think, I don't think that'll happen. Usually if Tank gets you up out of there, he's just going to blast you in the next year with one of the big ones. And, and, the, and, and, and like he did Leo, it ain't necessarily got to be no whole lot of damage taken in the fight, you know. Uh, but I, I do think, I do think, Tank is the better fighter all the way around. I think Frank is a damn good fighter, and I'm and I'm a Frank Martin fan just like I am a fan of Javante Davis. But I just think uh, Tank with his with with his uh with his amateur background and the fights that he's had in the professional ranks and the, and the people that he's been around in the professional Floyd and all these top guys. I think he's just going to be a little bit more prepared for a fight like this than Frank would at this point in their career. But it still should be a good fight when they get it on. Uh, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, would you like and subscribe. To the next time, it's your boy Spill Dog. I'm out.